Hello everybody and welcome back to The Sims 4 Let's Build New Crest, episode 4. We're on our fourth house. Uh, this is our second starter that we're building today. Uh, this time round it'll only be one story or a rancher home. Uh, unlike the last one, which was a two-story. Uh, for those that don't know, I am Canadian Simmer, and welcome to my channel. Uh, this video is part of a 15-episode series in which I am building on every single lot in Newcrest. Uh, so, we're almost done this neighborhood. Uh, this is the suburban neighborhood that I'm doing. Uh, so, most of the houses are very... They're very much what I pretty much live in, I guess. <laughs> I live in a suburban neighborhood, though in a very small house. So, um, I guess in a lot of ways my home is like a starter home, but I don't own it, so it's not even really a starter home. Uh, but anyways, um, the outside of the house took, has taken shape and now we're just fitting the rooms in. Uh, just like the last starter home, I flipped this one completely around. I like the... Uh, I wasn't happy with the way the front was looking, but the back looked nice, so we made it the front of the house. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice sounds a little weird. I just woke up, so... Yeah. Let's... We're, uh, getting the kitchen underway here. Uh, do add a pop of color with some teal counters. Hard to see right now. I will put in lights momentarily, I promise. Um, this house, while not, while it doesn't have a lot of furniture, uh, or furnishings, it has, mm, mm, like, not the cheapest of the... The furnishings. Um, so the bedrooms again only have beds, uh, nothing else in them. But the bathroom, like the toilet and the shower, they shouldn't break as quickly as the other uh, shower just because it's that higher quality help, um, item. And the kitchen too, it's not the lowest quality of everything. The counter is even a little bit higher. Uh, and and I believe by the time we, <clears throat> pardon me, put in the TV, the TV is a nice, nicer TV too. Um, yeah. Do we fit a computer in this house? I can't remember. We might actually get a computer in this house, so you won't have to buy one. Though I, if we do, it would be the cheapest computer, in which case you would probably want to replace it pretty quick. Um, you just reconfiguring the bathroom there. I was wanting things to fit a certain way. So the toilet gets its own little like cut out there. Um, using the same bed, just different uh, duvet cover for it and frame color. Wish I could individualize it just a bit, but hey. Um, changing up the kitchen here just slightly. I wasn't loving the shape of it. Uh, yeah, it's a few little changes and popping an end piece on there. Do not forget the bin. I always try to remember the bin. Uh, do I get any decorations on this house? I think we get two potted, <clears throat> pardon me, I think we get two potted plants in but uh, not much else because I opted for the computer instead. Uh, but that's fine, that means you can decorate it and make it individualized to your sim and sim family. Uh, this house really could fit up to four adult sims. You could do two couples, uh, or you could do a couple in a teen or a child, uh, but it will fit up four to four because there are two double beds this time instead of two single beds. So it could kind of be like a share home, as some people call them, or um, I don't, I don't know. It could just be like a I don't know. I don't think we have a name for them in Canada. I just, we say like, oh, you live with your roommates. We're not like, oh, we're moving into a share home. You're like, oh, I'm moving into a place with a roommate. I don't know. If there's a word for it in Canada, I have not heard it. So, <laughs> might be my own ignorance. Who knows? 
trying to find a wall color that went well with the dark wood and the red and more of the cheaper kind of paint and it was really hard to do. I could only find the brown that I was liking. Ugh. Sorry, just blowing my nose. It is summertime, well almost, and my allergies are just they are loving all the pollen in the air right now. <laughs> mm, I think there's even some cotton still around my place, and the cotton loves my allergies. <laughs> my allergies love the cotton, so. Uh, I'm pretty much sequestered to the indoors for a while until, the, until my allergies slow down, which should be soon. It'll be nice. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Anyways, uh, finally put in some lights there. Did the wallpapering in the rest of the house and flooring. We've got carpet in the living area. Oh, whoop. Uh, don't know what that was, but we have carpet in the living area and the two bedrooms with tiling in the kitchen and bathroom. Well, I meant a little more of a modern window there. Um, <clears throat> I guess in a lot of ways this home could be like a, in th it was in the neighborhood, like the new newest home that was built because there's that hint of modern uh, with those windows I know a lot of neighborhoods they're all kind of built at the same time my neighborhood some people have been here their houses have been up actually now for like 15 years and then some of them have just been recently built in the last two years so while they are similar you can definitely tell like that some are newer just from the style that certain things are done on them whether it be windows or the uh, landscaping so to me it makes sense that the houses in the suburban neighborhoods don't don't match completely like we did the retro one last time the other two were very just <clears throat> general suburban homes and then this one is very much uh, like a newer style. Just a quick save, I didn't want to lose any of my work that I've done at this point. Um, my game is notorious for crashing if I don't save. Um, I guess you call that kind of Murphy's Law. What can go wrong will, I guess. Uh, which is true for me in The Sims 4. <laughs> you don't save, you lose all your progress. <laughs> Especially on a build, and a big build too, so the bigger the build, the more I save, because I'm so terrified of losing everything. <clears throat> uh, this build I did right after I finished the Poolside Fusion House, uh, so I was definitely like in that building mode, so this one didn't take me very long to do. Uh, just because I was already like in the right mind space and uh, yeah, I just kind of turn up the music Try and block out the world as much as I can and just go go to town building um, My screen wasn't moving and I was like what's going on and then it caught up <laughs> it caught up and There we go uh, I think this changes just a bit um, in terms of us getting rid of the white cornering because uh, yes I plugged in my phone that's why it was acting weird because it was like I can't access your phone and I was like I don't want you to a computer I just want you to charge it thanks um, and no empty outlets <laughs> around so the phone went into the computer um, yeah, so that corner there for some reason wasn't getting the white siding bar. I was considering sticking a post there, but it looked so ridiculous. And I was like, eh, I don't know. This all changes. It just becomes plain, 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 plain. <clears throat> Though it hasn't yet, it will. Uh, going for the dining table first. Getting that spacey one. Just adding, like I said, it's a little more modern. Uh, I thought it that table actually fit well with the windows and such. Making sure move objects was off so that the table actually worked properly and that no chairs would disappear. Oh, pardon me. 
just woke up, yawning. <laughs> Not tired, I promise. Um, yeah, so there we go, changed that all. It's all that now. Popping in some more windows. I didn't like them in that layout. Tried to cut back on the windows just a tad. Now this bothered me, and I don't know if some of you will see it or not. Uh, I won't mention why those windows bother me though, because <laughs> it might bother some of you. Um, but this side, like looking at this angle, it doesn't bother me. I'm looking at it from the exterior, it's beautiful. In the interior of that room, the windows, oh, they just they drive me crazy. And uh, it takes me a moment to realize that these windows are higher than those windows. I'm like, ah, oh, no. Because they're all in the same room, I can't really get away with having them at different heights. I really like it when they all kind of match on the exterior. So we go around and change them, but those can stay where they are. That's fine. Um, I was gonna take away that window. I put it back. I liked having that window there. Hmm. Just readjusting the lighting, trying to make it a little more even. I was like, why do? Why am I doing that in this room? It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, see, I'm trying so hard to make it work. Oh, blank void there. Okay, so it's center on the outside, but not on the inside. I'm like, I can't, I can't not acknowledge that. Um, I decided for this build that I really was going to sacrifice the interior uh, design for the exterior design. At least with those two windows. And, um, I mean, you can put a picture up there or some kind of photo that you've taken, a painting. There's a lot of things that you can do to make that you can stick on that one spot if it's seeming really, really like an empty void there. Uh, that'll also personalize the room for you uh, and your sim. Bringing in some of the potted plants now. I mean, there's only two of them, so there's one. Um, it started off in the kitchen. It doesn't stay there. <laughs> and that light disappears too. Uh, was considering a fireplace. Thought it'd be kind of cool. I've yet to use a fireplace in one of these builds. Uh, though there is one in the next build currently. I have yet to finish building that house though. Uh, it's on the big 40 by 20 lot. So that one is taking me quite a while because it's a, quite a large home. And, uh, in this neighborhood, the 40 by 20 lot is on one side of the road all on its own. So it's like, oh, this house is gonna be like a little more prestigious than the other homes because it's like behind it's the fishing pond and there's nothing else really around it. So this felt like it'd be a little more prestigious being all the way over there on the other side of the road by itself. Uh, whereas these homes are all pretty close together. Like you can see them. Like when you're playing, in these homes, you look at the windows, you can see the other house right there, right next to it. So, uh, they're quite close together. Uh, even more so than I think of the houses in Willow Creek or Oasis Springs, like there's more space between the lots. Uh, these, I think they're like maybe one tile space between this lot and the next one, if that, like really the one tile space might just be the last tile space of the plants, so. Uh, anyways, there was that living room. We got a nicer bookcase there, an outdoor bin. Moving the potted plant, so getting rid of that light now. Uh, just moving everything in a bit more. Uh, there's the computer, the computer desk, or lovely medium small TV. Grabbing a mirror, I didn't like it in the bathroom actually this time around, so it went there. Which means your sims can practice their charisma skills, or try and cheer themselves up, or cool down while another sim is in the bathroom. So if you do put in four sims, uh, just remember there is only one bathroom, and hey, they can work on their skill building without having to take up that precious bathroom space. Oh, allergies go away. My nose another save. I was like, come on, I finished the interior. Save, please save. And, uh, yeah. There we go. 
then my dream paintbrush didn't want to work. I was like, what is going on? Um, I put the dirt around the houses. Uh, I've seen a few other YouTubers do it. I try not to overdo the dirt. I think sometimes I do. I try not to. I try to make it really soft and just kind of spotty just so it's not overly consistent and looks fake. Uh, putting in the pathway now. Uh, I just, yeah, I saw another Sims builder on YouTube do it and I really liked it. Um, not to steal ideas from everyone, but sometimes there's just those little tiny details that you're like, oh, that's a really great idea and I can't really pass up on letting my house not have that. It just, it brings something to the home uh, that just kind of wasn't there before. Just that little detail that makes it a little more realistic. Which is nice. Uh, this roof does not stay like this. It'll change in just a moment. Uh, it doesn't stay like this either. <laughs> Changing it up. Getting closer now. Getting closer. Uh, oh. Pardon me. And there I am yawning again. Mm-hmm. So we're coming pretty close to the end here because this is the last thing we have to do. Um, though to paint the roofs, I actually had to sell a window so the game thought I had enough money for the wallpaper before it let me put it for free on the roof. And then I had to rebuy the window. <laughs> so hey, whatever. At least the game's like, no, you don't have enough money, you're broke. Um, I should say that. Um, when you buy this plot of land, oh, what's the size? Is it the 30 by 20? It's not the 20 by 15s, but it's not the 40 by 30. Or is it a 40 by 20? 40, I think it's a 40 by 30. It's like the medium sized lots. So when you buy that lot in this house, I mean, you could probably put it on a smaller lot, but when you buy the lot in this house, you'll have, uh, I think it's eight simoleons left to your sims name, so getting that job right away is pretty important. I think you can afford to still make a garden salad or a grilled cheese sandwich, but that's only gonna last you about a day, so. But uh, there's some collectibles right there, uh, too, next to you. Um, that's nice. Uh, this house doesn't have as many walkways between it and the other house, uh, just in the front and the back. And the one on the side there is quite a ways away, and yeah. But the park's right there, which is really nice, so. Mm. We have children sim moving into this home. The park is right next door, which is nice. I can just hop on over and go play with no loading screen. Yay! Uh, finally settling on this more modern kind of wood. Uh, like I said, this house had a little more of a modern feel to it. I'm with the really dark uh, shingles, the really dark shingles there, and yeah. I actually like this roof more than I did when I finished with it. <laughs> I like it more now. Uh, there goes that window back in. I can't quite remember exactly where it went, but uh, yeah. That's where it goes. If I had more money, I would uh, put something else in. But we're just going to pop into some screenshots now, guys. Not too many today. Anyways, I hope you're all having a wonderful day, everyone. I will talk to you all next time. Bye for now.